welcome to today's vlog. I am just sipping on my little like iced tea beverage. I can't make this up. Like as soon as I start filming, Bane has an issue. Either it needs to be fed, needs to get let out, starts drinking water, but because none of those things are like here and accessible in my office, he's like, let's just bark. Anywho, don't mind me, I have a cold sore in the middle of summer. Ask me how, I have no idea. Uh, but I am just sipping on Starbucks, which isn't actually Starbucks. I purchased my very first iced Starbucks drink yesterday and I was like very proud of it. First of all, why is it $5? And second of all, it was delicious. And then now I just kept the actual like little cup and then I made like some basically tea at home, iced with stevia and it's delicious. Ooh, but real talk. I went yesterday with my friend and we went shopping and stuff and I was so happy with the amount of options now that are like sugar free and healthy because at first when I was giving up sugar it was like so much harder and this was like years ago. Uh, so then when I did it this time again it's been so much better. I'm going to show you the treats that I got because I was like pretty excited and I tried them last night and oh my god. Hold on. These were the first things that I got. I haven't tried it yet but literally only fruit and chia seeds, no added sugar. So I was like really impressed with that. I'm excited to try them. And they're like decent sized bars. Yeah, I'm happy. So I'm gonna stick these in my purse just to have for something if I'm hungry. And then the second thing that I had last night, oh my goodness. These are so good, like 10 out of 10. I actually like these more than the original like sugar ones. Mind you, I haven't had the sugar ones in a while, but they were so good. So I actually got these both at Winners and like decent prices. I think the Smart Sweets are only like 50 grams and they're the same price, so I was pretty happy with that, that it was like more than double. Bane, why every time I try to film, you need to go outside? Sit. Okay, go ahead. He straight up just wants to tan out here. I wanted to show you my outfit. It's so comfortable. It's literally a triple X men's shirt. And I just threw it on. I'm wearing some white Converse. It's adorable. I'm obsessed with the back. Let me try to show you. I'm gonna flip this up so I can see what I'm looking at. It's so cute. Like it's hard to tell. Oh, there it is. It's just badass. I actually just like want a tattoo that looks like that. Also, my eyes get so red if I put eyeliner on it. I don't know why. Oh my god, look at this cold sore. Not good. It's like at the painful part where it's just like really dry, but like it's not growing anymore. So mm. I have the most exciting plans tomorrow. I'm going in one of those little planes that like has your head out. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about, but they're so freaking cool. My neighbor actually won a prize and that was like, I think you go in it. I'm assuming because that would be a weird prize if you don't go in it, but I'm so excited. So she invited me and we're going tomorrow. So if I'm allowed to film, I'll definitely show you guys some footage because that would just be so cool. It's it's unique because like I would never probably have that opportunity to go in them. So I'm really, really excited for that. But yeah, I just wanted to tell you because I'm like pumped about it. I'm going in like officially 24 hours. So that's freaking exciting. This wasn't going to be like a favorites video by any means, but I kind of wanted to show you what I've been using lately. And I'll start with this one. I got Diesel Protein. I'm obsessed with this brand. You guys know it's like it's really, really good flavoring and it's made with stevia. But this is actually French vanilla, really good flavoring. Love it, love it, love it. So nothing but good things to say about that. And then my BCAAs that I use is this Amino IQ brand. So this one's actually tangy peach rings. My favorite is the watermelon candy. It's like, oh my gosh, like exactly like the candy. It's great. Uh, and then with my shake, I actually use my greens powder and then this collagen powder just came out. So it's sick because this, when I officially like read this in the top where it says to add to smoothies, I was like, oh God, it's going to taste really gross. But uh, taste wise, it's actually really, really good. Like you would never know it has no flavoring. Uh, but yeah, I mix both of that, a scoop with that and then a scoop with that and the protein and that's perfect. And then just for bloating and stuff and to kill the bad bacteria, I've been using the apple cider vinegar pills. I buy them on Amazon. I've had several different brands, but I find they're kind of all the same and it's less harsh like on your throat and stuff in your stomach um, compared to like the liquid. So I say sometimes like the pills, but this is like my regular setup that I take and it's been awesome. Plus, uh, if you've been watching my vlogs and stuff about like getting off birth control, I also have been taking those supplements and just to balance my hormones out. But these are just like the general things. Okay, try one of these. 
they're sugar free, made with like malt salt and stevia. Aren't they good? Yeah, they taste just like regular ones. I thought that too, like exactly like them. Yeah. And they were, and the smart suits are only 50 grams, and that's like more than double and for the same price. Oh, wow. At Winners. Aren't they good? Have you checked out the website? No. I want to order more because they actually had more gummies than just the Coke ones. Most tall stevia. Yeah. yeah. And like they the. They have uh, candy people. Yeah, because how many calories? Six pieces, 60 calories, so 10 calories a piece. That's not bad at all. Like in comparison to like. Let's find, let's go in our junk cupboard here. In comparison to this, eight pieces is 140 calories. Wow. That's pretty cool, like to see the difference. I'm excited. He said he came back from a trip and he said he saved me blueberries. Ew! <laughs> Ew! Does it smell fishy or not bad? Oh! Did you, you just put blueberries in a beer can for me? Yeah. <laughs> I just have to figure out where it is. <laughs> is it in that one? Cause it sounded like something was in that one when you shook it. What is just water in that? <laughs> I have no idea what's happening. There's a blueberry there, so there's blueberries <laughs> in there. Fresh northern blueberries. That is hilarious. That whole experience was hilarious from start to finish. So I was going through my notebook in my office and I found some paperwork from two natural paths that I went to and it kind of brought me back just seeing these like plans and stuff of like what I had to take and like supplements and all that. Uh, just yeah, it brought me back to like why I originally started this YouTube channel uh, If you guys didn't follow me back when I originally started about a year and a half ago I had a really really bad infection in my small intestine Which if you are like familiar with that like that's in charge of like absorbing your nutrients and minerals So I'm anemic. I've been anemic for years now, which means I'm low in iron So like something like that was really critical for me because I wasn't absorbing the iron that I was eating and I was getting just like so tired and I was bruising everywhere. I had really bad anxiety and depression. It was like horrible. There was tons of stuff. I was originally eating vegan and then when I was on this diet, I was very restrictive and I couldn't have many carbs. And I basically had to kill the bad bacteria so I couldn't feed it what it wanted and it wanted carbs and sugar. So I eliminated all that. I had to take fungusoid, I had to take all this stuff, uh, droplets in my mouth every day. And like as it was dying inside me, like the bad, it was still floating around until of course you like remove it from your body or eliminate it and I just had to detox myself and it was like totally revamping my whole diet my whole life everything that I knew and it was really discouraging because I always live like a decently healthy lifestyle like I always have I've been very like health conscious so it was really disappointing that I was like sick I'm like why me like why is this happening so I ended up going to like another natural path when I moved up here and she gave me like a list of foods for like my spleen and to smooth my liver. Foods to add like sweet potatoes, root vegetables, arugula, and then things to avoid like cinnamon and red wine and like a bunch of garlic, just things like that. And then she also gave me a list for like foods for dampness and inflammation. So like things to add to help prevent that. And then foods to limit or avoid. So I, for the most part, kind of eliminated things because I got a food allergy test. So I was like really strict with what I was consuming and what I wasn't. And it's like, it goes from discouraging to like very rewarding and you feel good. And then all of a sudden it's like, there's another thing. And like your life changes, your hormones change, like so many things. But it's just important to like stay on track and do the best you can to get that fixed because there's so many like long-term effects if you just like leave it. My latest obsession lately have been these bands from Amazon. Uh, they come with four different types. They are such good quality and they weren't expensive. And I've been trying to like get rid of my cellulite on my legs. I know it's not perfect, but I am so proud right now of my legs. Like I have been working so hard with the bands and like before right here would have been awful. And I'm like so proud of myself and it's such hard work, but it's so worth it in the end because it's like a huge thing that I'm self-conscious about.
To be completely honest, I thought giving up sugar would get rid of my cellulite like really easily and that's not the case for me at least. And I just have to use weight. So I was like really disappointed because like my body weight exercises weren't getting rid of it very fast. So once I got these bands, within like I would say five or six workouts and not like super intense workouts by any means but just like having that extra tension made a huge difference and now my cellulite's going away uh i used to have it on my butt too and that's going away and i'm like so excited because it's like i will do anything to get rid of it i just didn't have the right tools so i ordered that on amazon got that down pat and hopefully our gym opens soon because i cannot wait i heard that there is a gym not our gym it's like 45 minutes away but I heard that that is open now. I think you can like wear a mask inside, but then once you're inside, you don't have to wear one. Ask me why that makes sense. I have no idea, but I might just do like day passes since it is so far. I probably wouldn't go like regularly, but like I wouldn't mind smashing out some like really intense workouts once in a while. That would be sick. So hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm gonna look into that because that would be really fun. I just had something to eat. So because it's so hot out, I wanted to make a shake. So this is the protein powder that I'm using. I'm going to add my greens powder and then my collagen powder into the shake. Then I have my oat milk that I have. And I use peaches and mango that are frozen and it just makes it like a thicker texture. So freaking good. And then I packed my kayak and my car and I'm going to go for a ride on the lake. I'm so excited. Like you have no idea. It's really hot. But I'm prepared to sweat. I just need to put sunscreen on. And then I'm gonna get my podcast downloaded, listen to some podcasts. My goal. It is so beautiful on the water right now. Like, I can't even get over it. It's amazing. Uh, it is a little bit more windy than I would have liked, so I'm really having to paddle. And it's like this shoulder is burning because it's like really pushing me that way. But yeah, I'm enjoying myself on the beach. There was like screaming children, and it just kind of like reminds me that like I am not ready to be a mom anytime soon because I'm like, my goodness, it just annoyed me so much. So I couldn't wait to get the paddleboard or not the paddleboard but the kayak onto the water so I could get away from those screaming children <laughs> it sounds so mean but I just I can't it's just not me right now but on a positive note I'm excited I'm gonna get my phone ready for a podcast that I have downloaded I watch the or listen to the health code podcast a lot because I really really like Sarah's day and Kurt so I'm gonna do that listen to some business podcasts and just enjoy this gorgeous view because like who wouldn't I love it Hi guys, so it is the next day. I'm just heading to play tennis with a friend and that'll be really fun. I'm gonna sweat everything out. But anyways, I'm gonna focus on driving to the, uh, what is it called? The court, the tennis court. Uh, probably have a heat stroke. I brought lots of water, but <laughs> fingers crossed I feel okay. And then I'll check back with you in a bit and hopefully I can go on this plane ride because I was so excited for it. It'll be like so cool. If not, we have to drive like four hours to go on a different day and it's like not really the most convenient thing. Anyways, I'll check back with you in a bit. The irony of this sign, because it says new members welcome, but all of the gates are locked. Sam's going to check that one, but I doubt. I don't understand how are splash pads open, but we can't go in here. I'm so happy you checked this door. Yay! Like a lock on it, but it's not Holy, this is nice and big. And it's not too windy here, so this is good. I am freaking dying. It was so hot, but it feels so good. I burned so many calories. We're just gonna go out to Starbucks right now and get like a cold drink. Oh my God, that was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I love workouts like that. Hey guys, so I just got back from my plane ride. Oh my gosh, it was an experience like no other. I just thought it was so unique and just different. Oh my gosh, how cool. I really enjoyed myself. It was very hot up there because it was a heat warning today, but I'm so happy that the weather turned out and that it worked out. So I'm gonna close this vlog out I appreciate everyone that has watched my video and videos. Um, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys.